Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering from ELB's Time Vault Games. We have Fee on Elves versus me on camera actually playing Mogwarts in our Popper Open. I don't usually get to play a series of events, but take Mogwarts for a spin. And this lines up quite poorly here for Fee, a munitions, a makeshift munitions, I should say. Sacrifice Iker Wellspring to kill this Priest of Titania. Makeshift Munitions is going to turn any of these artifacts into a lethal king. Take out any of these elves. The mana base could certainly be sacrificed if need be to stop elves from getting out of hand. Remember, elves is a deck that can go incredibly wide. Massive amounts of damage. One of the cooler decks that you can play in Pauper. And now Putrid Goblin actually showing up and sacrificing his life twice to clear the board. He right now stuck on one force, which normally wouldn't be a problem. With all of those mana dorks, he could have potentially played out like half of his deck. Not the case, however. Inhorn also gets KO'd, and now the creatures have stopped coming. Viridian Longbow is just sitting there without anything to attach to. It's an important card for beating decks that are going to fog you out or make you skip your attack step. A single Viridian Longbow can actually change that matchup as Elves has the ability to literally draw the entire deck if need be. Distant Melody. Very bad situation. Unearth. And, you know, that might actually just be enough attacking with a, a pair of 2 twos for the next four turns and then sack them to, to close it out. Wellwisher complicates that situation. Combat damage not looking as attractive. We're going to have to deal with potential life gain, so... Deadly Dispute draws some cards. And it's either going to be dealing with the Wellwisher or just going for the combo. Really don't want to let that thing sit around and start nullifying your attack steps, potentially letting elves draw back into the game. But it looks like it is going to be the combo. Earth had brought back that other putrid... Now looks like kind of overkill. And first day of class is going to get there. So first day, we've got a video explaining how this deck works. All of the pieces coming together. First day of class and then Goblin Matron tutoring up the Skirk Prospector. I guess I'll just go ahead and explain it for those who are unfamiliar. The Putrid Goblin with a first day of class previously played means that it's going to enter with a plus one, plus one counter. And the... Persist enters with a minus one, minus one counter. So if you have pulled that together, that means that you can sack it infinitely to Skirk Prospector, getting infinite red mana. That red mana can be used to cast cards like Goblin Matron to win the game by finding a Flame Wave Invoker, a creature with an activated ability that does damage to players. I mean, it's not much of a bargain. It's eight to do five. But when you have infinite, that's totally fine. And then... The other way of killing is what we saw on board there, the makeshift munitions, just sacrificing that putrid goblin over and over and over again for lethal. So that lines up really, really harshly versus elves. So hopefully the sideboard includes some potential enchantment removal. Possibly some graveyard hate, cards like Tormod's Crypt. I believe he brings in four Tormod's Crypts. Very good at breaking up the combo. Elves really just wants to slow this deck down and dodge Munitions Expert. If it's just kind of trying to win the game with Skirk Prospector, First Day of Class, and Putrid Goblin, like that's, that's going to be a little bit tougher. They can't use the Graveyard. Basically have to get two Putrid Goblins at that point. They also have access to Dispel, a card that can counter first day of class. But so far, Mogwart's been performing incredibly well. A turn one Lanor Elf. Kick things off here. Dramatic Star. Mana filtering that also just enables 
deadly dispute, and this is exactly the type of draw you want for Fee. Would have probably much rather that be a Priest of Titania rather than a Timberwatch Elf. Priest of Titania would allow this turn to just absolutely vomit just all the elves onto the board. Just a total deluge of green cards. We do have a Lead the Stampede that hits for four cards. I mean, that is also pretty crazy. But yeah, untapping Priest of Titania after it's played a bunch of elves is one of the more satisfying things that you can format. Probably dead next turn. Timberwatch Elf pumping right now just for four. The next turn, all of those other elves are going to be able to join in and you're going to be able to tap and untap Timberwatch Elf. Oh, but here we go. It's going to be first day of class into the kill. Just like that. A turn three kill to wrap it up. And plenty of card draw anyways, even if it wasn't for the munitions in hand, very likely would get there with all of that card draw. So wow, Mogwarts, it's the real thing. This is a format defined by all of the aggro decks, uh, but this is a combo deck that can potentially outrace them. Gotta give it a try.